You're now traveling with C V M A the C. You're now traveling with TVMA.T. Come along. So, so, so. You're now traveling with TVMA the T. I'm here hanging out with the soul of Nola, honey, on this bright, brisk day in New Orleans. We are at the Waldenburg Riverfront, right? That's right. The Waldenburg Park Riverfront. Out here hanging with Essence and Erica represent New Orleans Multicultural Tourism Organization. Essence, please introduce yourself for the people. Good morning, this is Essence, Executive Director of the New Orleans Multicultural Tourism Network. And as we say, the soul of New Orleans, we are out here at the 25th anniversary for Zulu Lundi Gras Festival. We are having so much fun on the river. We are representing the rich culture and history of New Orleans, so come on out. That's right, you heard that, honey. Come on out to the Waldenburg Park. Erica, please tell these people why they need to come on out here. Who we have on a DJ right now? I believe that is DJ Jubilee, one of New Orleans' famous homegrown local artists and DJs. He has several records out, but we are out here enjoying the soul of New Orleans. Zulu Social Aid and Pleasure Club, a, a club that's been around in New Orleans for 25 years. They've been parading 25 years. So come on out, enjoy Mardi Gras, enjoy the soul of New Orleans, stop by our booth and have a little bit of fun with us today. That's right, honey, and they have cupcakes, so you definitely need to come on out here and take a picture at this wonderful booth. See you soon, and thanks for traveling with TVMA The T. Multicultural Tourism Organization. Dana, can you tell the people how important it is to be a part of such a great organization and such a great event? Oh, it's such a, a great uh, organization because we, we are we try to preserve the culture in the city, uh, the food, the people, all the different events going on. We're here to make sure that everybody who wants to know about the Multicultural Tourism Network. We're here, uh, we're guardians of the culture. We're here to make sure everybody, you know, from African Americans, Latino, um, Asian Americans, you know, um, Arabic, whatever you are. And of course, general market. We want you all to know what's going on in our community. But we have events like the London Bra. We want everybody to come out and everybody to celebrate because this is about New Orleans and its people, it's the food and the culture. You heard that, honey. It's about New Orleans, the people, the food, and the culture. You heard it right here from Dana Campbell herself, the board member with New Orleans Multicultural Tourism Organization. Guys, we're representing hashtag Soul of NOLA. Thanks for tuning in. You're now traveling with TVMA the T. Hi, guys. You're now traveling with TVMA the T. I am here with the wonderful, outstanding citizen, Mr. David Buford, previous actor, previous model, and the name of your show was, your series was? The North and the South. It was the 11-hour uh, miniseries on ABC. <laughs> That's an ABC show, guys, The North and the South, and I just saw the 
of footage, honey. He is literally giving the camera life. Now, David is a longtime standing member of the Soul of New Orleans, which is the New Orleans Multicultural Tourism Organization Board. Can you tell the people why is it important to give back to such an organization? Well, one of the main things about it is that we have a lot of people that come into the city and they don't really know exactly anything other than Bourbon Street. Well, the soul of New Orleans, they give you all kind of information as to where you can go, what you can do, and not just deal with Bourbon Street. It's more to New Orleans than Bourbon Street. I know that's right, and I'm actually getting all of his tea. We're at the Waldenburg Park doing the Lundy Gras, Zulu Lundy Gras Guys Festival, and Mr. Buver has given us so much information. So I would literally like to thank you for your time. Is there any other things that you would like to share with the people that they need to know about yourself and also some more information about Soul of NOLA? Well, I tell you, if you're coming to New Orleans, you need to pick up the little booklet, Soul of New Orleans, and it will tell you any and everything to do right here in the city. NOLA for life. You heard that, honey. You're now traveling with TVMA the T. And like he said, this is my second home and it is definitely NOLA for life. We're out. member and this year I serve as the chairman of the festival. Uh, the Zulu London Rock Festival is exactly what you see. It's a historic New Orleans cultural arts and food festival honoring the Zulu King 2019 George V. Rainey, a Zulu legend. So what you have is an all-day festival. We have music at three different stages, the Liberty Bank Kids stage, Zulu King stage, and the Golden Nugget stage in the back. Live in R&B, rock and roll all day food all day, drinks all day, and then at 5 o'clock our king arrives and there's a celebration with the mayor of the city and all of our dignitaries here uh, to honor our king. That sounds awesome and I think what a lot of people need to remember is that we are at the Waldenburg Park here on the riverfront and it is free, right? Free and open to the public, so come on out and have a great time. Plenty of food, plenty of drinks, a lot of fun. You heard that, honey. You need to get here to the riverfront for the Lundy Gras, Zulu Lundy Gras, Mardi Gras Festival, guys. You heard it here. You're traveling with TVMA the T and Dorian Rawls, and we would like to say happy... Happy Mardi Gras. Hail Zulu. Hail Zulu. Woo! You can hear DJ Jubilee is in the background there. We are hanging out at the Zulu Lundy Gras here at the Waldenburg Park on the riverfront in New Orleans. If you're on your way, we're waiting for you. Stop by the Soul of New Orleans booth. You're now traveling with... Welcome to the Zulu Lundy Gras Festival, guys. 
guys. We're out here at Waldenburg Park. I'm hanging out with the Zulu Parade Duchess. Please introduce yourself. Yes. Hello, everyone. My name is Tanisha Santin, where I've been a Duchess for 20 years. You should come out here right now if you're not able to catch the parade tomorrow. We have a lot of goodies. Some of the characters are out here giving out coconuts. And you can take pictures with us. So hope to see you soon. I'm Shonda Honeywood, and I've been riding for two years. Y'all come on out and see us and get your coconut. Hi, my name is Jolanda Berry. I've been riding for seven years. Hi, I'm Chantel. I've been riding for 20 years and five years as a duchess. Hello, good evening, good afternoon. My name is Aisha, and I've been riding for many, many, many years. You do the math. Everybody, it's your girl Janetta with A1 Live Pop Up here at African Fashion Week Art, Wine, and Culture event. We are having an amazing time. They have some lovely art pieces to see. So go ahead, get down here. You still have time. Everybody, get in the action. Before Mardi Gras comes, it's our last full day before that last, last day. Um, it's just a fun day in the city. There's some, some traditional things that go on with Rex and with Zulu. So it's a great traditional thing if you want to come and see what's happening. And it's just a fun day. So Rex and Zulu, guys, you got to understand, Rex is a king and Zulu is a king. And these two will meet at what time tonight? Um, it's later this afternoon around 5 or 6 on the river. 
that's on the river, guys. And you heard it here from the locals in New Orleans. This is going to be a theme, guys. We're going to be out here all night giving you the travel tea, honey. So you're now traveling with... I'm from New Orleans. I'm from California. So I'm from California. <laughs> All right. So, so tell us, you are out here celebrating the Mardi Gras, Zulu, Mardi Gras as a family. How is it? It's wonderful to be able to experience this as a family and make memories. And how old are you? I'm 12. So how would you say you went more into it? Well, it's very fun to catch everything and, um, like, experience it. But, y'all... It is cold, right? Ooh, baby. Yeah. It's cold today. Yeah. It is. <laughs> but you know what? As long as you come out here and you celebrate, make sure you have something in your cup, honey, because that's going to definitely make your time grand. Yes. We're out here with the soul of New Orleans, and we're enjoying this Zulu Lundy Gras at the Waldenburg Park here in New Orleans, Louisiana. Guys, you're traveling with TVMA. communications at Whitney Plantation and Whitney we opened up um, in 2014 as uh, with our tours but the location the plantation has actually been there since 1752 so it's quite a long history but we're the only plantation museum with an exclusive focus on slavery that's an awesome awesome establishment and I can't wait to visit so where are you guys located we're located in uh, Wallace Louisiana in St. John the Baptist Parish approximately 45 miles outside New Orleans do I need to have advanced reservations when I come through? It's suggested that you book online because tour spots do fill up with me. So definitely, we will definitely make a stop there and check it out because I'm, I'm a history a historian buff, so I love history. And I can't wait to come through. Can you share the name of the website for the viewers to be able to find your establishment? Sure, it's very easy, www.bithyplantation.com. You heard that, www.whitneyplantation.com. I am TVMA The T. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. Hi, guys. You're now traveling with TVMA The T. If you're not at the Waldenburg Park out here at the Zulu Lundy Gras Festival, you are missing out. If you notice, it is a packed house earlier from this morning. Let me snatch Erica in the building. Erica, I'm just sharing with the people how packed it has gotten out here since. So what do you have to say about the Zulu Lundy Gras Festival? I love the Zulu Lundy Gras Festival. It's one of my favorite festivals of all the Mardi Gras season. Just because all of my people are here. There's people from every culture. I just had a conversation with some people from Spain who came all the way here just for the Zulu Parade, which is tomorrow morning. So um, that's why it's my favorite, and it has gotten really, really crowded. A lot of people do the festivals midday. They'll come around 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, as opposed to how thin the crowd was earlier and how thick it is now. But um, I'm having a good time. I'm not having it. Great time. It was very sparse out here earlier this morning. It was a little chilly, right? But right now the temperature feels the temperature feels awesome. Guys, if you're not out here at the Waldenburg Park out here at the Zulu Lundy Gras Festival, you are missing out, honey. Guess what? If you want to get interviewed, come out here and look for a TV MA the T. We're gonna be at the Soul of New Orleans tent. Come out here and get your free selfie photo, guys. Free selfie photos. Compliments the soul of New Orleans. You heard it here first. You're now traveling with TVMA the T. Guess what? We're out. All right. <laughs> so, so. 
and TVMA The T. If you're not at the Waldenburg Park out here at the Zulu London Grand Festival, you are missing out. If you notice, it is a packed house earlier from this morning. Let me snatch Erica in the building. Erica, I'm just sharing with the people how packed it has gotten out here since. So what do you have to say about the Zulu London Grand Festival? I love the Zulu Lundi Gras Festival. It's one of my favorite festivals of all the Mardi Gras season just because all of my people are here. There's people from every culture. I just had a conversation with some people from Spain who came all the way here just for the Zulu Parade, which is tomorrow morning. So um, that's why it's my favorite and it has gotten really, really crowded. A lot of people do the festivals midday. They'll come around one o'clock or two o'clock in the afternoon as opposed to how thin the crowd was earlier and I don't think it is now, but Good time, we're, we're, having, having, a, we're having a great time. Erica, I'm about to eat some grim. So tell me about this cupcake. So this A hundred and ten years, guys. Talk about, talk about legacy. Zulu is a legacy. And I'm here kicking it with the president himself as we actually sit here and wait on the king, King Zulu, to come through. How has this event been for you over the years? Because a lot of people back home, some people have never experienced a Zulu event, a Zulu festival, and today we're hanging out the Zulu London Gras. How has it been for you guys? Yeah. Uh, for me personally, it's, it's, it's been, uh, I guess, uh, mixed emotions. I, I joined the organization at 19, uh, so I've been in the organization 26 years. I'm 40, 45, so now I'm leading the organization. I had the honor of reigning as King Zulu in 2012. I was 37 when I did that, so so much. The organization has given me so much, taught me all what it requires to be a leader. So now today, after 26 years, I'm leading a group of over 800 men, many of which are older than me. Hey, that's legacy right there. You heard it here first from President himself, Mr. Elroy James. Thank you so much for this interview. I really appreciate you. You're now traveling with TVMA the team. The president said that, honey. And we're out. Hey guys, you're now traveling with TVMA the team. We're hanging out here at
This is Mardi Gras, baby, and this is how we do. This is exactly how we do it in New Orleans. Welcome to the Zulu Mardi Gras Festival. King Rainy has arrived, and his daughter, his granddaughter, is the queen. guys and the queen of Zulu it is time to roll witness King Zulu himself organization this festival represents economic development in the city of New Orleans. It shows what we can do. It shows the talent that's here in the city of New Orleans. It showcases some of our finest cuisines by our local vendors. So I want to give thank you for coming out and supporting this festival because each year is bigger and better and it's larger because of what we do. So give yourself a round of applause on the scene. But also I have a group of individuals on the stage that I want to acknowledge because again it's because of the partnership that we've enjoyed with some of these individuals for years that has made this possible. Miller Corps is one of our longtime partners. In recent years we were partnered with New Orleans and Company. The New Orleans Board of Partners too has made that the Liberal Bank has been with us for years. I want to thank all the McDonald's. This year we have a special guest. We have the LSU. Chancellor, President, and, and, and the Chairman of the Board, a friend uh, of, of mine, James Williams, who's joining us on this evening. And again, I want to say thank you from on behalf of the 800 members of the Zebra Associated Blizzard Club. And please don't leave here without a special gift from the organization. And also, I would be remiss if I didn't thank the City of New Orleans. They have been strong supporters of the festival since its inception. For 26 years, and I want to say thank you to each and every one of you. And now I'd like to present to you our chairman of the board and councilman, J.H. Banks. Just wanted to tell everybody, happy Monday, Rock. Thank you all so much for being here. This is going to be the beginning of a wonderful Monday, Rock. Thank you all for joining us. I also wanted to say thank you to PJ's Coffin and point out that the wish doctor did his job. We asked him to make sure that it didn't rain. We forgot to put in a memo on that coat, but we got the rain right now. So, happy Mardi Gras. Hail Zulu. Now, the wish doctor got one more day. That's just the day. We got one more day. We're hard to beat there. At this time, I want to present to you the guy that, uh, who's responsible for all the Mardi Gras, all of our activities, and all the parade, London Gras, you make them everything, anything to do with Zulu Mardi Gras. Yeah. Mr. Dennis Robinson, our chairman of the Parliament Activities. Good evening, let's give ourselves a round of applause for a job well done for this London Gras fest. First and foremost, we want to thank everybody for coming out and helping us celebrate this London Graf Fest. Uh, I am responsible for everything good at the carnival, but I'm not responsible for what happened on the uh, Coast Guard ship. So we make sure we get to that straight. <laughs> but we want to throw shout out to everyone, the military, for helping us throughout this carnival season. We want to give out a shout out to our 2018 reigning king and queen, Mr. Brent Washington and Troy Madison Washington. Let's give them a round of applause. We want to give a shout out to all our characters for doing a great job this season and to the whole organization of the Zulu Associated Pleasure Club for a job well done. I think this year showed that Zulu is nothing but one love. One love spread throughout the city and throughout this community. And we want to appreciate everyone for supporting us. 
folks, it is with esteem, honor, and pleasure that I welcome for the first time to the London Cross stage this historical occasion of having the first female mayor of the city of New Orleans. Just a little token of something to 
say thank you and have an enjoyable ride tomorrow. Last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, you see all of these great Zoom members. We thank them for all they do. And the president introduced to you earlier, we wanted to give him a token of our appreciation for all of their hard work and his leadership. Mr. Earl Warren James, thank you so much. We appreciate you. You know, uh, King Zulu couldn't get here. He can't walk that by himself. And guess what? It's a long way from across that river. So he got a special transport, a special transportation. And King Zulu always arrived by way of the United States Coast Guard. So at this time, I would like to present to you the Governor of Admiral Good evening, New Orleans.
we want to thank everyone for supporting this student organization. And uh, the party is not over. Continue enjoying yourself and look for us tomorrow. Be out there early to support our organization. And once again, thank you. Thank you everyone for coming out. You're now traveling with TV MA the T, baby. This is DJ Jubilee getting it in, baby. DJ, what you got for us today? Hey, I got a big old party, y'all. We're gonna do the whole show. Get ready. We're gonna do the number one line dance at what stop. We're just gonna have a big blast right now. In a few minutes, I'm about to hit the stage, baby. I know. I heard you out here this morning. It was briskly cold, but you had us out there bouncing, honey. Well, that's what I do, baby. I want to make everybody happy, keep them warm, let the blood flowing, and watch y'all get these people hyped in about the next 10 minutes. Hey, we're gonna make sure to tune in. And if you're not at Walden Bird Park and jo enjoying the Zulu London Grop, man, you missed it. The King just came out. DJ Ju Jubilee is about to hit the stage and give it to him live. And hey, check it out, y'all. It's going. I'm a homeboy right there. But it's going on right now, man. A few minutes. We here. If you ain't here, you really missed it. But it's going on to see the greatest entertainer of all time, DJ Jubilee, baby. Thank you for hanging out with TVMA, the T Jubilee. We appreciate you. Hey, you had us bouncing way back then, and you still got us bouncing now, honey. Thank you. Appreciate that, baby. All right. All right. Happy Mardi Gras. And happy Mardi Gras, guys. Yo, no, we back at it again, baby. What? Get in the action. Say your ex man can't do it better. Three. Get in the action. Tell me what is the deal. Tell me what is the deal. So I challenge you today to start strong. Can you feel that? See, I'm calling for you. Can you feel that? See, I'm calling for you. Can you feel that? See, I'm calling for you. Say how you really You're now traveling with TVMA the T. Denicia, darling. Y'all better get in the action, honey. You're now traveling with TV and me, the T. I have with me today. Oh, so I'm Reese Progray. I'm the number one fighter in the world right now at my weight class. Right here, straight from New Orleans. And um, yeah, that's who I am. Guys, if you love boxing like we love boxing, this is the hottest fighter that's out there right now. What you got coming up for him? All right, so my next fight is for the WBA Championship of the World. Um, it's April 27 in Lafayette. Lafayette, Lafayette, yep. All right, guys, you heard that here. Make sure you're following him. Are you on IG? I'm on IG. Everything is Regis Progra at Regis Progra, R-E-G-I-S-P-R-O-G-R-A-I-S. All right, we will definitely connect in Houston. Make sure you hit me up so I can get you on the tra my travel podcast show, Traveling with TVMA the T. Thank you for hanging out with me today. You're now traveling with TVMA the T. I am here with the lovely Denicia. And if you are NOLA Southern and if you love New Orleans Bounce, honey, this is the queen right here. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Denicia, what you gonna get the people tonight? A little bit of dub, a little bit of shake. <laughs> no, that's right, honey. Guess what, guys? We can't wait for Denicia to hit the stage. Can you share with the people how they can follow you and get your music? I'm on uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, who is D-E-N-I-S-I-A, and I'm on iTunes, Tidal, Spotify. I have a new record out. It's called Good, a new found single called Missy Here, so get that. You heard that right here. You're now traveling with TVMA, the T. Hey, we want to get it in, we want to get it in From the East Bay to the West Bay From uptown to downtown Come on, we want to move around We want to stop right with that We want to get it right, hold time to the left Kick out the days, work the hill, and move your feet Come on, come on Now we're about to get it right for y'all
You know what I'm saying? Y'all ready or what? Look, it don't matter. You are the one who's sitting right by you. full-time job with what we have in the White House. How are you enjoying the concert with Partners in Crime and Jubilee right now? Well, I love them. They're New Orleans grown talent. Uh, they're remarkable people. And what people don't know is Jubilee is a Little League coach. Uh, Partners in Crime, they teach and they give back. So that's the good part. They're wonderful people. It's all for Zulu. So I love it. I know you saw me dancing. Let me see you do this dance. Oh, no, I don't do that. <laughs> I do a bunch of things, but dancing is not one of them. You're now traveling with? Thank you, guys. I have PNC with me today. You guys did an awesome show for the Zuli Lunch Rock Festival this, today. We was actually out here since 8 o'clock, and it was so cold. You guys rocked it out. You, DJ Jubilee, Miss T, and Denise C.I. So what y'all got for the people? I was just telling my husband it's time to go for this. It's late. Oh, but guys, I was I know that's right. I was talking to the congressman and he was telling me about how proud he is to work with you guys because you do so much for the community and you give back so much. What inspiration can you give to the community out there that's listening and is gonna be watching the podcast? I mean support your community with the events that's going on in your community that's raising money for the cause. I mean just join into that call.
represent us, man. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't messing with Zulu, you ain't messing with us. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Here's the city. So support the city. Support what we're doing. It's black people. You heard it here. And on top of that, I'm going to throw in my little tea, honey. Dilly, dilly. Dilly, dilly. You heard it here. You're now traveling with TV. M-A, the T. Thank you, partners in Crime PNC.
your favorite part about Zulu? Um, the coconuts. The coconuts, guys. Can you explain to the viewers what the coconuts really mean? What does it signify for Zulu? Um, I actually don't know, but I know they're very popular. So a lot of people just take them and leave them inside of their home. I know that's right. So she doesn't know the history and the culture of the coconuts, but they're very popular. Guys, now it's going to be our journey to catch a what? Coconut. Coconut, come out here. We're on Canal and Basin. Remember, you're traveling with TBMA, the team. What's your favorite part, Mom? The coconut. No coconut. And I keep asking everybody, what is the tradition of the coconut? 
I keep asking New Orleanians, what is the what is the meaning of the coconut? I have yet to have someone to explain that to me yet. So that is gonna be my goal before we leave here to get someone to explain the tradition of the Zulu coconuts. Guys, are you having fun? Awesome. Having fun. Awesome. I'm loving the festivity costume. I'm loving it. This is how you do Mardi Gras. You're now traveling with TVMA The T. You're now traveling with TVMA.T. Come along.